Now the quite simple truth about PXG Gen 6 irons right now is that they are very different than any other irons on the market. And the thing that sets them apart really does matter. And that first thing that separates them, well, it is a non-negotiable fact. PXG make the thinnest iron face in golf and they just made it 15% thinner. But why does that actually matter? Well, quite simply, it allows this face to flex a little bit more, but that is not it in itself in terms of the performance of these Gen 6 irons. There's that clever foam that's injected into these hollow bodied irons, X Core 2, as they call it. There's a clever little power channel cut out on the back side of the club face, which again aids that flex. That foam injection is also dampened sound and gives an incredibly good feel off this forged body and face. And then it creates what is an incredibly forgiving high MOI set of irons, but also one that creates incredibly high ball speeds. All good so far. But the second reason, and quite honestly, maybe the most important reason, if you are considering buying these Gen 6 irons, then I want to take you back a few weeks to my visit to Arizona and the custom fit process, which is really key in these irons from PXG. Have a listen to this. So we're, yeah, we're going to just up the swing weight. This is the interesting bit, though, isn't it, in these irons? The fact that you can, that's, that's a big thing, isn't it, with the PXG iron? Huge thing with PXG. Yeah. One of the only companies in the world that can go through the entire fitting process, tweaking the swing weight the yeah. entire time and still have the club perform and not yeah. in the integrity of how it's going to interact with the turf and things like that. Good swing. How does it feel <coughs> off the face to start? Re real change, to be honest with you. Yeah. A notable thing. Noticeable, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. And the sound at the bottom too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the contact off the face is great. Good swing. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely softened up a bit, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you want to change shafts this year? No, no. I think that's, like I said, I don't think we'll shift. I don't think we'll move from still. that. Yeah. <laughs> Numbers What's it doing? Let's have a look. You're still just a little up, right? Yeah. But dynamic wide, nice and coming through flush, yeah. 170 carry, and yeah. it's stopping at 46 degrees. Um, so they enhance the tungsten weighting again. So instead of the two pieces in the single weight, now it's one big tungsten okay. plate. Now it's the same core technology, but on the flip side, they got the face 15% thinner again, right. than ever. So the right. thinnest face even got thinner yeah, yeah. with this. So the feel should be a little bit different for you as okay. well. Okay, but and that's in that player's head. Either. So what, what weight did we have in the initial club? So the initial stock is 8 grams. Mm. Now we're going to go to 10. So yeah. the 2 grams in the head is going to raise the swing weight just the 1 yeah, yeah. point. So how that works is any 2 to 2.5 two grams in the head is going to go up a point, 15 grams in the shaft, and then an extra half inch in the shaft. All bring the swing weight up a little bit. Okay. And then as you add weight to the butt of the club or the grip, it starts to bring the swing weight back down. Okay. And that's kind of what you were explaining, what you felt happened Maybe. Um, when you added the bigger grips. That you started to feel yeah. or lose feel lose in the head. Lose a little bit, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Interesting. I know you pulled it the, Yeah, yeah but the bat is different. Better turf interaction and your yeah. dispersion's tighter. So, that weight to me is so, so important if you are going to buy these irons. And trust me, it makes a considerable difference to not only the performance of the irons, but also the feel, also the tempo of your own swing. There's a huge difference in terms of the lowest weight and the highest weight. I changed around a fair bit, to be honest with you ended up with what is a 10 gram weight placed in the back of these irons and like i said that coupled with obviously the correct shaft choice then for me if you're choosing pxg irons and if you're gonna look for the full benefits of what they potentially offer then custom fit is an absolute necessity and really does separate them in terms of these irons and the drivers and fairways to be quite honest with you right now with that movable weight port now i've also picked up on something else that they've actually dropped a line out of this gen 6. what i mean by that is what previous iterations had was a tour model a player's model and an extreme forgiveness model now one of those has disappeared and it's that's better players end the tour model it doesn't exist you've got two options in the gen 6 that's players or xf so why has that happened and i've got a feeling pxg have got something they're not telling us that by the way is the players model i don't know if you can hear the sound but it 
it's so so good i mentioned very briefly out in arizona but one noticeable difference having played them now back in the uk in some miserable wet conditions then their sound and feel has definitely softened up again and perhaps moved back to what i think was the best feeling irons that pxg produced and that was going back to gen 3. so now we've got something that they've added tungsten which i'm not always keen of in terms of sound and feel but for some reason x core 2 coupled with that thin face they've really softened up the face and the feel is superb anyway what's that secret or perhaps something that pxg aren't telling us right now well, my guess at least is this. If you are a player that fancies that kind of tall model, so it just becomes a more compact version of the P, then I would just hang around for a little while because my thoughts are that there could be another release coming from PXG. If you recall the 0317 ST, blade was introduced in this last six months or so. And I think you're gonna see something in between the 0317 ST and the P model in Gen 6 that will be released. But that is purely my guess, but I don't see why they would drop this tour model out and not replace it with something. So, bit of a word of warning, and it is purely guesswork. If you fancy the tour model, stick around, because like I said, I've got a feeling there could be another drop coming very soon from PXG. So that's it, do you know what? I'm finishing there. There's not a lot more I can add. It was a great experience for me personally in terms of that custom fit process, but I've always said a real eye opener as well. Like I said, two main differences. The thinnest face in golf just got thinner, 15% thinner, more flex, more ball speed, that added tungsten. Just a really good set of irons, but like I said, to get the most out of them and make sure they're the very best fit for you, then custom fit is an absolute no brainer. It's something you've got to do. It's what stands this iron apart. I've not seen anybody else develop something that can be dialed in so significantly into your own personal preferences. And like I said, that's not just about performance, it's also about the kind of whole weight of the club, how it feels in the tempo with a swing. So for me, they'll probably go in the bag. I'm a PXG Iron fan and that's unlikely to change and the developments and tweaks that they've made, I am a fan of. I love the softer feel they've developed into Gen 6. So all over for me, very positive as you would expect because like I said, again, these irons currently, um, but genuinely think they've got a real good club on the market. Interesting enough, from a price point of view, I've seen them released in the UK at around £1,200 UK. So that's going to be in and around the sort of P790, uh, a lot of the Callaway models. So I think it's probably pitched in at about the right price as well in terms of hollow bodied irons competitors. So they've really got something for you to have a serious look at. Right, that's me done. It's a bit miserable, but uh, we're going to get plenty more golf and plenty more filming done here at Archfield Links over the next few days. So stay tuned and I'll see you all tomorrow night.